Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alyssa, but I go by Liz. I hope you consider sticking around and subscribing because we have a blast here. We talk Disney and Loungefly, we do some unboxings and some hauls. And if you are a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. I am so happy you are here, guys. I am super excited for today's video because I have had so many requests asking about an updated Loungefly collection and it's probably gonna be in three parts. I was gonna try to at least get maybe into one, but if you guys wanna stay here for an hour or two, that's what it's gonna be like. Um, so I'm gonna split it into two or three parts. Um, so for today's video, I'm just gonna do one part and then I'm gonna show you guys like my outlay and how um, all my lounge flies are how they're displayed how they're storage like you know exactly what I how I just display my bags um, but if you guys want to see part one of my lounge fly collection and how I display my bags then keep on watching alrighty guys so I feel like I want to kind of show you how I display my bags how I storage them how um yeah basically how I display them so this is kind of like my recording area and my um reading area this is where I like record my videos and stuff um it's one of my favorite areas ever it's just so cozy and I love how I have my bags here as well so I store them on these shelves I believe I got them from Target and they're really great shelves I feel like they're not squishing my bags um, and they display two bags on each shelf but what I really like about them is you can have some collectibles on here I am a huge Funko and Jim Shore collector um, and I just love being able to display a bunch of collectibles on my shelf you can even display some up there as well but I really love how this looks and then following this side, I have some bags hanging on this wall as well as my little books. Um, but where I usually store my bags are on, I call this my, um, my wall of bags. <laughs> um, so I display all my bags on my wall. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's nice because I get to display all my bags. So they go all the way up there and then up there as well. And I have some in my closet, but this is really where I store all my bags. So they go from all the way down there, all the way up to there. <laughs> and I just have them on little hooks, um, which make it, makes it nice and easy to remove if I want to wear a bag. But yeah, this is how I store them. I try <laughs> to have like Star Wars and like Pixar, but sometimes I just... <laughs> If there's like an open spot, I'll just hang it up there, but I have to definitely organize them and put them like Pixar together, Disney park bags. But yeah, this is pretty much how I store my bags, just on my wall. And then I just have them on my shelf as well. It's kind of funny because I got rid of a bunch of bags. So this is it. I think I have a couple more in like my, my crossbody bags in my closet, but this is pretty much it, which is really, really nice. <laughs> but yeah, this is how I store them. All right, guys. So I think it'd probably be a good idea if I showed you the bags that I display. Um, I have bags all around me right now, so don't mind the absolute chaos. But let's get started in this video. So I think I'm going to start from this side and then work my way. So the first bag is going to be this beautiful Jungle Cruise. I, oh my gosh. This is the from the Mini Main Attraction. Um, I'm going to just try to go as fast as I can. That way I can get more bags out of the way. Um, hopefully put as many bags as I can without being like 30 an hour minute. Or like a, a whole hour video. But... This is from the Mini Main Attraction Collection. Um, I think Josh got this one for me and I think it's so beautiful. It has side pockets and a front pocket. Um, just a very beautiful bag and it's gold hardware. And I love the inside, how it has that really green teal uh, print. I think it's really beautiful. But I love this bag. I think it's very fun, very unique. I love the sequins and the different textures. But here's this one. 
And then the next one is going to be my Tafiti bag. I am obsessed with this bag. I think it's also just so perfect for the springtime and the summertime. But I love this bag. She looks so, so beautiful. And I love this front pocket with Maui and Moana. And I just think the colors are just so beautiful. I love the greens and like the sunset. And I just think this bag is just so beautiful. You got the palm trees and then you just have Hey Hey and Pua on the back, which I think is just super, super cute. Um, it's silver hardware. You have a front pocket and side pockets. And then you have this beautiful inside lining. But this is one of my favorite bags. This is so beautiful. And then look at that key charm. It's the Heart of Tafiti, which is just so, so beautiful. But here's this one. Kind of following the Moana. I have my Pua bag. Oh, it's a dog hair on it. Gross. Um, but here's Pua. I think this bag is just so stinking cute. I think I got this from Funko Hollywood and I saw it and I'm like, I need that bag because it's so stinking cute. But again, I just love the colors. I just think he's so cute. I have this style, um, I think in the Marie bag, but I think it's just so adorable. It has side pockets. And it has this nice front pocket and then you have Pua on the back. He just looks so stinking cute. He has gray straps. It is silver yeah. hardware. And then I love this lining so much. I wish this was like an AOP um, mini backpack. I think it would be so cute. And this one does have a pocket on the inside. But this is another really great bag for the summer, springtime. I think it's just so cute. And then I also have... Let's see, I guess we'll go to the Beauty and the Beast. Um, this one's one of my favorite Beauty and the Beast bags because it's a library and I love books. So I think it's just very fitting that I have this bag. And I just love this scene where they're all watching them. I just think this is so precious, very detailed. I just love the size of it. I love the books that are just all over the bag. I think it's just so beautiful. And then you have them on the back. See, like they're kind of, you see their backs and you see their faces, which I think is so cute. Um, and then this one has side pockets. This does have a front pocket, but I don't use these ones because I don't want it to damage it. And then this is gold hardware. And for the inside, you have the uh, bell and bees and you have like a bunch of books, which is super, super cute. One of my favorite Beauty and the Beast bags. Now, if you guys are wondering, I do use my bags. There are some that I haven't gotten to, but I think I have worn at least probably like 95% of my bags. <laughs> um, and then this one is the um, kind of like a part, I think it was part of the Castle series, um, but I really love this book. I know this one, like a lot of people didn't like this one, but I personally really loved it. I love the stained glass kind of like effect to it. I think it's just so pretty. I love how she's reading. And you have the castle. I think it's just a very beautiful bag. Um, this one does have side pockets and then you have that front pocket. But again, I don't really use that one. Um, you have gold hardware. And then you have the stained glass on the back of it with the black straps. And then here is that inside lining with a bunch of the enchanted roses. Very, very pretty. I use this one quite often because I just love it and you have Cogsworth and Lumiere and then Chip and Mrs. Potts. So there's that one. And then for, I guess we'll just grab and go. Um, I have one of my, I think this is probably one of my favorite bags is Carl. I think this bag is just so cute. I. Oh, I just think it's so cute. I love, I have a, like, I love older people. Like, you know, I just think they're just so cute. So I love this bag so much. <laughs> um, but he's just so cute. I love how it has the grape soda bottle cap. You have his cane for the zipper pull. But I just think this bag is so stinking cute. And then you have this back. And I think it's just so precious. So cute. When I saw that, I first, like, I cried. So it was so precious. The hardware is silver. And then for the inside lining, you get, it's like this, um, kind of like tan and brown, um, inside lining. And it has, like, the adventure book. And then the, gra um, grape soda bottle cap. Super cute. One of my favorite bags in my collection. I just think he's so, so stinking cute. And then I have this one, which 
I'm trying to remember. I think this was like a box lunch exclusive for like some Comic Con or something. But I think this bag is super cute. You have Ellie and Carl, and they have the, it's like the mailbox. I think it's so cute, and oh, I just think it's so precious. I love the color. The color is so beautiful. You have that on the back, which I always love when Loungefly has these little like extra details on the back. The um, hardware is like this bronze, really very, really super cute with this. And then for the inside, you have balloons and then the grape soda bottle cap. And this one also has side pockets, so you get the side pocket and the front pocket. Super cute, one of my favorites as well. And then you have, oh, I love this bag. I think this was a 707 Street exclusive. I don't think they have this available anymore, but it's, oh, I love this one. This is my favorite Bambi bag I have. I love it, it's an AOP, and I feel like I got pretty good placement. Um, I just love the colors. I love how you have Thumper and then Bambi. So precious I love the colors I love like the brown I think it's so beautiful you get side pockets that front pocket you get this super cute zipper pull of thumper and it's like so stinking cute I am obsessed with this and then for the inside lining and it is gold hardware you have this inside lining which again I love that color I think it's just so stinking cute one of my favorite Bambi bags I think it's just so 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 cute I love I love the brown so cute and then I have this one a thumper I think this bag is also very cute very really good like nice for the springtime because of the floral and the colors again I just uh, I I think when I I think I immediately bought this when it was available because I'm a sucker for floral and then just it's like a nice like rosy like a dusty rose color and I just think it's so cute and their tails are fluffy you got that heart zipper pull and then on the back it says love is a song that never ends which I think is just so cute and you get um, more floral and this one does have side pockets as well as the front pocket and then for the inside lining, you have this with a bunch of prints on it. Super, super cute. And then the hardware is, again, like that bronze color as well. And then um, we could go into my Cinderella. Um, we have the um, sequence one, which is, uh, I love this one. I think it's so beautiful. So you get this nice bow with the clock on it and you got that nice pocket. You have side pockets as well. Um, it is silver hardware. And on the back it says Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo, which is super, super cute. I love the different color blues. I'm a sucker for blue, so this, this is a really nice bag. And then on that inside lining, you have like the castle and the clock. And then I think this has pockets. It does have a pocket, but this one is super, super pretty. I don't collect a lot of sequence bags, but I have a bunch from this collection because I think they're just so beautiful. And then um, I have this one, which one of my favorite Cinderella bags. I think this is just such a beautiful bag. Um, I love how kind of just like simple it is. It's not like it, like bam, like in your face, like bam, Disney, bam, Cinderella. Nope, it's very subtle and very pretty. So you have this front pocket, which is sequins, which is so beautiful. And then you have, um, what's it called? The fairy godmother on the zipper pole. And then you have the carriage, which I think is just so beautiful. It's in this bag. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's, it, you, it has glitter on it. It's beautiful. And then for the back, you have the carriage, but like in pumpkin form. And then you have the baby blue straps. It is silver hardware. And then for the inside lining, you just have this baby blue with the carriages. Super pretty. And then this one does have a front pocket, a side pocket, and a pocket on the inside as well. And then I have this one. This is just a classic Disney bag. Um, it is the Steamboat Willie bag. I love this one. I think it's just such a classic Disney bag and I love how the wheel is a pocket. And you have Mickey. I think it's just such, just so cute. I love this one. And then you do get side pockets. It's silver hardware. So you got the side pockets and that in, uh, front pocket as well. 
And then for the inside, you have a bunch of music notes, which is super, super cute. Then you have a pocket on the inside. So here's this one, very, very cute. And then I also have this one. I, I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say like just like a Disney California bag, California adventure bag, because you have a lot going on. You have um, almost a lot of the characters. You have Pluto and Donald, you have the teacups, you have Space Mountain, you have the Ferris wheel. This one's a really fun bag. And then I put a little key charm on it, it has, Pretty much like everything on this bag, but it's literally like a key charm version. Super cute. Um, so you have a front pocket and the side pockets. I'll show you the full print on the back. Super pretty. And then for the inside lining, and if I didn't tell you guys, it is silver hardware. For the inside lining, it's just a bunch of the icons of like the castle, the Ferris wheel. Just a great basic Disney bag. And then for my Snow White bags, I have Dopey, this one. I love this bag so much. I think he's just so cute. Dopey is one of my favorite like, like dwarfs in like the snow in Snow White. I think he's just so cute. And I love this bag. I love how he looks. I love his like, oh, I just think it's so cute. I love that zipper pull. You have a pocket right here, but again, I don't use that one. And then it is gold hardware. You have side pockets. Then you have Snow White with Dopey. Super, super cute. And then you have a bunch of the dwarfs on the bag as well. One of my favorite bags. And then following that, I of course had to have Grumpy as well. Cause right next to Grumpy or right next to Dopey is Grumpy. He's just such a fun character. I think this bag is just so cute. I love how it can match my mood. <laughs> it's just so cute. I love how he looks. You have pockets on the side. You have the, uh, oh no, there is no pocket. Oh, there is, oh my gosh. You have a pocket right here as well. And then you have a print on the back. And then for the inside lining, you just have a bunch of grumpies. And this one is gold hardware. Just a really fun bag. It's just so cute. Um, and then I have, let me see, um, I have Rapunzel. Um, this is a really great Rapunzel bag. I love this bag, it's so beautiful. You have Rapunzel with Pascal and it's like the tower and you have a front pocket. I just think this is so pretty. I love, I think these are, the flowers are embroidered and I just love the pops of color. I think it's very beautiful. And on the back it says, I wanna see the, the world and not just through a window same floral print super cute and then you have that same floral print on the side pockets as well so you got the side pockets and the front pocket and then it is a gold hardware and then it says tangle 10 year anniversary but this is the print super cute and then following that I have the um, uh, sequence bag from that collection as well and I oh my this is like probably like my second favorite in the collection. I think this bag is so beautiful. You got a frying pan for the zipper pull. And I just think this bag is so beautiful. The bow. And on this one it says, I light my own way. Super pretty. I love this bag. You got the side pockets and the front pocket. And again, gold hardware. And I did add a key charm to it. I, it's Pascal, and he's just so cute. And then for the inside, you have kind of like the same print um, in the Cinderella one, but more like based off of like Rapunzel. This one does have a pocket on the inside. So here's this one, so beautiful. And then you have Louie, which I think this is such a fun and cute bag. I cannot wait to take pictures when the ride opens up at Disneyland. I can't wait for that ride. I'm so excited, but he's just so cute. I just love this bag. I think it's so fun, and I'm so happy I was able to grab one and sag one for myself. And we have a print on the back. And then this one has side pockets and a pocket up there as well. It is gold hardware. And then this is such a fun print. It's just Louie with the trumpet and like music notes. Super cute. And this one does have a pocket on the inside. 
And then I also, this is like my favorite bag in the collection. It's the Tiana. I think this bag is just so beautiful. I love the greens. I think it really just represents her dress. And I just think it's so beautiful. You have a trumpet for the zipper pull. You have gold hardware, which I think is just so perfect for this bag. And then for this one, it says, love always finds a way. So you got the side pocket, the front pocket, and then the lining for the inside. The same kind of as the other ones, but again, more towards Princess and the Frog. This one has a pocket as well. But this one, oh, such a beautiful bag such a beautiful bag and then following with my kind of like my tinkerbell peter pan bag i have tink so so cute i didn't get this bag when it first came out but i did buy it from a reseller and it was brand stink spanking new so i grabbed it and i think this is so pretty i love how she has her little top knot and her bow I think this is such a beautiful bag and you have a pocket right here as well as side pockets. I did add my own zipper like charm like my keychain. It's just Tinkerbell. And I love the holographic um, straps and then it just says Tink on the back. And then the hardware is like that bronze and then it is just a blue print with Tinkerbells all around it. Then I also have a pizza pan, and I think this is a really cute bag as well. I feel like I need, if I had Tinkerbell, I have to have Peter as well. And I think he looks just so cute, and I love this, um, oh my gosh, coin purse. <laughs> this coin purse, I think is just super cute and a great addition to this bag. I love how he has his little sword, and I just think this is such a cute bag. Um, you have the front pocket, you have side pockets as well. And then I'll give you a little close-up on the coin purse. I just think it's super, super cute. We have the side pockets. Um, it is like a bronze or like a dark, uh, yeah, like a bronze for the hardware. And then this is the inside lining, which is really fun. I kind of like how it looks like a map. So this is a really cute lining. And this one does have a pocket on the inside. And then it has Peter and Tinkerbell on the back super super cute and then I also have more Beauty and the Beast bags so I have not worn this one I I think this I don't know I'm kind of thinking about selling this bag maybe but I just think this is just a really beautiful bag I think it just looks like an art piece I love how he's in like beast form and then he's back to himself I think it's just a really beautiful bag um, it's just a lot of yellow. Um, I don't know if I like the straps anymore but with the red and the blue, but it's just a lot of yellow for me. Um, I think if it was like a lighter yellow, I would have liked it, but it's just a bright yellow. <laughs> but again, I think this bag is just very beautiful. I love the print. I just think it's a really like an art piece. It's very, very pretty. I just love how it just looks. I think it's just a very pretty bag. And then doesn't have, oh, it does. It has just like blue and red flowers on the back. And then, of course, for the inside lining, you have more yellow. <laughs> but I haven't worn this one yet because I just, I'm not sure if I like it. But <laughs> here's this one. And then I also have, this is my favorite Beauty and the Beast bag for sure. Um, this one I got it's Cogsworth. I think this bag is so cute. I'm obsessed with this bag. I think it's just so pretty and so adorable. And I'm waiting for a Lumiere one. I'm just waiting for it. Um, so you got the front pocket. It's gold hardware. You have the bigger pocket. You have side pockets. And on the back it says if it's not broke, don't fix it. Oh, there you guys go. It is gold hardware. And then... Uh, I always say this, if this was a mini backpack, if this was like an AOP mini backpack with this design, I would buy it in seconds. I love this print. I think it's just so pretty. I love the colors and the print. I think it, it's just beautiful. It is so, so beautiful. 
and then following with that I have my Ariel bag which I think this is so pretty I love this bag I love the colors I love how Sebastian and flounder but what really made me want this bag was the handle I love how it has pearls on it I think it's just so precious and really just makes it just so sick and adorable um, on the back we have a fish playing some music which is super super cute you have side pockets and that front pocket and then you have a thingamabob on the front gold hardware and then on the inside you just have this super fun design with a bunch of different fishes which i think is super cute and then i also have the um sequence bag for that one and i think i got this when it was restocking like i think like a month or two ago um this is a really cute bag i love the front pocket how it looks like scales and it's a beautiful green very beautiful and i love the bow i just think this is a really beautiful bag it has flounder on the front you have the side pockets and on the back it says under the sea and it is silver hardware and then for the inside lining you have a bunch of flounder and mermaid tails. A really pretty bag. And then I also have this key charm on it, which I think is just so perfect for this bag. And then for Halle Bailey. Such, oh my God. I love that movie so much. I've cried so many times because it was just so beautiful and her voice is so stunning. Um, and then for my Alice in Wonderland, I have like the Ace card, which I really like this bag because it has A, Alyssa. I think it was just perfect. So I think this is just so cute and I've worn this so many times and I love, love the zipper pull. I love how it's a paint bucket and it's red. I just, I am a sucker for red too. Red's my favorite color. So I really like this bag and I love the straps. They definitely have like, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like glitter. It's so beautiful. And then you have the Queen of Hearts and Alice on the back. And then you just have that, those side pockets. And it is a gold hardware. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw this. And it has a paintbrush. Just so cute. And then for the inside, you have a bunch of the cards, which I think is so cute. I love this bag. I think it's just so fun and so cute. And it has little feet too, which I, <laughs> I think this bag is just so cute. I love it. And then I also have the Queen of Hearts. Oh, where'd she go? There, I have the Queen of Hearts as well. Um, I think this bag is just so, so cute. You just have her looking like she's up to something and you have that beautiful front pocket. I love this front pocket. I think it's so, so pretty. You have side pockets, that front pocket, and you have a print brush on the side. And then on the back, it says um, off with their heads with the black straps and it is um, black hardware. I love black hardware. I wish they came up with more bags with black hardware. And then on the inside, you just have a bunch of Queen of Hearts. Super cute. Sorry guys, I had to delete footage because I literally told myself I was going to be quick and it's going longer than I thought, <laughs> but it's okay. So we did these ones. Oh, I didn't do this one. Ah, which one do I have left? Oh, these three. I think these three. Okay, so <laughs> I <laughs> I have the TK Room bag. This is from the Mickey Man attraction. Um, this one's a really fun bag. I love this one. Um, I think Josh and I did like the Enchanted Tiki Room. Um, I haven't seen it in years and Josh hasn't seen it since he was little. So it was so fun just like watching it um, together. It was just super funny. But this bag is just so cute. I love it. I just think it's so fun. And you have these like beautiful birds from the Enchanted Tiki Room all over it. Definitely a fun bag. I want to wear this to like Trader Sam's. I think this would be so fun. Um, it is gold hardware. You have a front pocket as well as the side pockets. Gold hardware. And then you have this beautiful inside lining. And then these straps are a darker green. But this is a very fun bag. I definitely want to wear that to, tra uh, to Trader Sam's. And then 
I don't know why I didn't start off with this because this is my holy grail. Um, and I got it for a deal. It is Darth Maul. I, a lot of, I won't even say, okay, I say, I save a lot of Star Wars bags. Um, this one is just perfect. This completes my Star Wars collection. Um, I love Darth Maul, I think, and Josh really loves Darth Maul too. So he was so happy I got this one. I think he just looks so terrifying, but it makes me laugh. Um, I don't like it when I'm sleeping and it's just looking at me. Um, kind of scares me a little bit, but I think he's just so cool. Um, it's a pretty, it's a really big bag. Um, on the back you have his lightsaber. Um, it is gold hardware. It doesn't have side pockets, but you do have um, a pretty, like, pretty good size pockets, I'm not gonna lie. So you have the print, um, you have a bunch of Darth Mauls. So you have this pocket. I mean, it's a pretty big pocket. And then you have this one, and you have a zipper pull that says Darth Maul. And then you have literally this ginormous pocket as well. And you have a pong. You have a pocket on the inside too. So, you don't get your side pockets, but you get a lot of pocket space. And I think this bag is just so cool. So, so cool and so terrifying. But I love it. <laughs> um, and also, I also have Obi-Wan Kenobi. This is from, I think, Corey's Corner, um, if I'm not mistaken. But this is a really beautiful bag. I love this. I love how it's just the Jedi robes, um, specifically Obi-Wan's. And I think it's so beautiful. And you have his uh, lightsaber. Um, there is a pocket right there. You have side pockets. And then on the back, you have Jedi. And then for the inside lining, and it is silver hardware, it says Obi-Wan Kenobi, which is all over it, which is super, super cool. But I love this bag. I think it's just so, so pretty. Like, and it's Obi-Wan Kenobi, so. So what else could you ask for? All right, you guys, I pulled more bags. I pulled them from up there. Um, this is not gonna be a short video, just so you know. Um, but we're talking about bags, so I don't think it's a big deal. But, um, so this one, this, okay. If I'm gonna be quite honest, I got this bag because I love Tower of Terror. Um, I just think it's one of my favorite rides ever. And there are my dogs. Um, it's one of my favorite rides ever. And when Josh and I went to Disney World a couple years ago, I got like pretty emotional because I have very fond memories about going on Tower of Terror. Like I went on it when I was like, maybe like 10 or 11 and I was petrified. But I went with my best friend and her family and they're like, Alyssa, like we'll get you a souvenir if you just go on it. And I did and I had a blast. So I love that ride. So I was super excited when they came out with the Tower of Terror bag. But this bag guys, let me just show you with like an average bag like it's it's pretty small it's pretty small um i probably wouldn't use this for a park bag i have used this a couple times when i'm like when i go to work and i just put my stuff in here or even if i'm not having if i'm going to the parks and it's not like a long trip um i just take this bag but definitely not like an all day trip because it doesn't really it can't really fit a lot in here but I really like this bag, um, mostly because it just, oh, it's very nostalgic and I just love it. So you have all these characters, you have Mickey, Goofy, Pluto, and Donald. Um, and I heard that a lot of people got like, I don't know if it was damaged, but their doors wouldn't open all the way. And if I'm gonna be honest, I don't think mine do either. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't even know if, my, if they're supposed to open all the way, but. Basically, it opens, you see Mickey and Minnie, and then they close. I know a lot of people's bags, they didn't close all the way. I think mine do, though. Yeah, I think mine do. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really cute bag. Um, I really like it. I'm really glad I have it in my collection. And it does have, like, the bronze hardware. You don't get a front pocket. You don't get side pockets. So that's a pretty big bummer. Um, on the back, it says drop in any time super fun um, and I really like this inside lining like I would not mind a bag with this lining I think it's really pretty Let me show you, guys this side. And you do have a pocket on just kidding you don't have a pocket <laughs> so 
that's a pretty big bummer. <laughs> you only have like that pocket. You don't have front pockets or side pockets. Um, so, I mean, I just got it because I really like the ride and it just holds a lot of memories for me. So I'm really glad I have this in my collection. But it does suck that it doesn't have front pocket or side pockets. Because when I go to the park, I like my side pockets because that's where I put my phone and my sunglasses in. But I'm really happy to have it in my collection. And then from the Mickey Man attraction, I have the Space Mountain bag. I really like this one because I don't think there's any other Space Mountain ones besides the Mini Man attraction. But I really like this one. I like kind of how simple it is. Um, the ears are glitter and you have that beautiful front pocket. And I love how there's like a hidden Mickey right here. And then on the back, it's the Space Mountain. But I really like this bag. I haven't worn it yet, but I think it's just super fun anyways. Um, I love Space Mountain. I think it's a really fun ride. Um, you have side pockets, but I'm going to be honest, it's really hard getting something in here. But, I mean, yeah. But it's okay. Um, and then you kind of have, a little, like if you see it, like the Space Mountain ride. And then it is silver hardware. And then you kind of just have a galaxy print, which is super cool. But I like this one. I think it's really like a really fun bag to have in my collection. Um, especially it's Space Mountain, which is a really fun ride. Um, and then oh, I love this bag because it's Max. I love Max. He's one of my favorite Disney dogs. I think he's so cute. And I love how fuzzy and cute he is. I just want to cuddle with him. He's just so precious. Um, and I think he's adorable. I love how he's fuzzy. And on the back, I love how it has Prince Eric and Max on the back. I love the straps. Um, I've worn this a couple of times. I am nervous to wear it though because I don't want it to get dirty. Um, it does have side pockets and it does, oh, it doesn't have a front pocket, duh. Um, I'm saying I've worn this and I don't remember if it has a freaking front pocket. Um, but the inside lining is super cute. I love how it's Ariel and Max and Eric. I think it's just so precious. And then the inside lining, oh, I just showed you that, but it does have a pocket on the back of the bag but again one of my favorite bags um this is especially because it's max i think it's just so cute and you have his floppy ears but i love this bag so so much and then next i have um this one oh gosh i can't remember where i got this from but i think you can pre-order it maybe i think it's from merch adventures I don't, how to, I don't know how to pronounce it. Merch Ventures, I think. Um, but it's the canvas bag, and it's of Daisy. I really like... Um, I think Daisy's just such a cute character. I think her, her aesthetic is just so cute. And I love how this bag is just purple and pink. Very, like, girly and fun. Um, so you have her. You do have a pocket right there. Don't have side pockets, but you do have these nice handles. This is a great park bag. If you have a canvas bag or can get your hand on a canvas bag, I highly recommend because they are great park bags. I can fit so much in here. Um, you have a pocket right here, you have a pocket right here, and then you have like this massive pocket. Like I'm pretty sure you can literally fit another lounge fly bag in here. But <laughs> it's super cute, super fun. I love this bag. I think it's just a great park bag in general. And then um, with Obi-Wan Kenobi, I have the Anakin one, and I love how it's just his like um, dark robes. And I think this bag is just so cute. I love the I love the um, the black hardware again. Sucker for the black hardware. I think it's just so pretty. Um, and on the back, you don't have anything, which I really would have liked if he had like his I don't know. They had something on the back because I love when lounge fly bags have like stuff on the back. Um, it does have a pocket and then side pockets and then on the inside you have this really fun inside lining and you do have a pocket on the inside as well and then I think this is probably going to be the last <laughs> probably going to be the last one um, and this is the Ariel, uh, not the Ariel, the um, Ursula bag. I love this bag. I think this bag is so beautiful. 
um i always talk about it like <laughs> to anybody who will listen i think this bag is so beautiful i love how it has ursula and i love her makeup i love her red lip i think she looks amazing and you have this beautiful beautiful detail right here with ariel and flounder it's just so beautiful and i just think there's so much detail in this bag you have flotsam and jetsam on the straps which i love this detail i think it's so pretty um you have a gold hardware and then on the inside you have this really fun lining with flotsam and jetsam and ursula with her sword and you do have a pocket on there but guys, I think <laughs> I think that is going to be it for part one of today's um, Lounge Fly collection. I'm really going to try to get this done in two or three parts. Let me see if my camera would focus. That would be really nice. Um, but I'm really trying to get all these bags <laughs> and shown to you guys. And hopefully it can be within two to three parts. So definitely keep an eye out for those coming your way. Um, but again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this like for today's video. I got a lot of requests to show you guys my collection. And I kind of held back on buying bags. So I can actually record and know what bags I show. Because I'm not like buying bags continuously and forgetting about those. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any of these bags or how many bags do you have in your collection. I have to count how many bags um, specifically, but I think I have 200 bags. But next video, I will give you guys a total count of how many bags I have in my collection. Um, but again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys all have a magical day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.